welcome back to What The Fate Make. I'm Matt. And I'm Luke. Okay, right, so this week, what are we going to be looking at? Biscuits. One of our favourites. And this is my uh, weapon of choice. Oreos. I absolutely love these. Good biscuit. Yeah. Here's the... What, yeah, what have you got? Alternative ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are extremely similar, really. Uh, very similar. You can just see by the picture on the front how similar that these look. Um, Where are they from? These were purchased from Audi. Yeah, okay. Price? 35p. 35p? Jeez. For this whole pack. 154 grams, 154 grams. The same price, one pound. So, big, big difference starting big out difference. with. Okay. Uh, Let's discuss packaging, as we always do. So, uh, we'll start with the original. Um, so the original, it's just, it's just nice. You've got the it's clean, content. it's simple, yeah, it's enticing. You've got the splash of milk, you've got the biscuits in there. It's kind of like, yeah, come The on. serving suggestion is with milk, because it's extremely nice. Indeed, serving suggestion, enjoy with milk. Yeah, they're just, they're just good. They, they don't, they don't overdo it. They just say, like, the flavour and the... the Picture of the actual biscuit and just yeah, the Simple. logo. Right. Simple. What about the cookies and cream? The cookies. I have and to cream. say, really quite similar, isn't it? Just sort of first impressions. You could almost mistake those for those, really. You know. If they weren't called cookies and cream, you probably could, to be honest. Yeah. On the front of these ones, obviously you have the the brand sort of things. Belmont. Yeah. Um, Belmont biscuits. Nutritional value. Okay, let's have a look at that um, one in the front. So, yeah. per biscuit, um, 2.1 grams of fat, 1.9, okay. Saturates, 1. Sorry, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.6. Sugars, 4.2, 4.1, a little bit less sugar. Uh, salt, 0. 0.05 grams. It's not going to be much salt in these. 0.08 grams. So, again, okay. more salt. A little bit more sugar, uh, sure. third of the price. So things are looking, first impressions, cookies and cream is doing pretty well. How, so, how many calories is it per biscuit? Per biscuit, uh, I can tell you, 52. 52? 52, 52, bang on. Exactly so. Right, okay, so I think we'll start with the, can we start with the original, I think? So. Yeah, let's just check it. Okay, right. Right. So. An Oreo. Mm -hmm. A little Oreo life hack is you can stick a fork in the cream in the middle and then dip it in milk with the fork and it, it's mm. just so good. Let's try it. Mm. Nice. Just a normal Oreo. Mm. Really good. Super good. Crunchy biscuit, nice spilling. Um, there's not tons, there's not tons of filling to be honest, but it's good, it's good for balancing. I'm going to go for another guess. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Nice. Yeah. No mistaking. Just your standard Oreo. Amazing. Mm, very I good. definitely recommend Oreos. Mm. So. Right, okay. Palette cleanse. I'm going to have a drink. Moving on to the cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa. Pretty similar. Let's just take. Oh, gosh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, this one's broken. Yay, we'll just set that one aside. Pretty similar. Identical colour biscuit. Wow. Yeah, similar amount of filling. So that's, uh, yeah, it's very, very close. That's very, very close. Wow. Taste test. Wait, look at these. Wow. Okay, taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Nice, but I think there's almost like a treacly taste to it that hits you straight away. I think it's a bit more crunchy, and that the the biscuit sort of reminds me of the the middle of a crunchy mm. chocolate bar. They're just the texture of it. Okay. And it tastes different. It does taste different to the Oreo. But they are very nice. Um, that biscuit that was broken made such a mess, but whatever. They're really nice. 
Hmm. Yeah, nice. But I don't know why. It's different. But this biscuit sort of gives me the taste that it sort of it sort of tastes a bit burnt for me. I don't know why. It that's just. I know what you mean. There is a sort of uh, yeah. No, it, uh, that's what I said like the treacly, mm. <coughs> slightly over overdone a little bit. Mm. Nice, but not as subtle as the as the Oreo. Mm. Um, but nice nonetheless. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> oh, very nice. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, what you've got to remember this. You know, you're talking. 35p a pound, it's nearly a third of the price. You could, nearly, you could get almost three packs of these for the same price as the original product. Um, so for me, don't know, um, <laughs> I on that point, value so. wise, <clears throat> that's a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll have to agree with that for the value. <clears throat> um, so I, I think. Based on that, obviously we've got, to, we've, got to, we've got to score this down. It's got to be probably an eight out of ten in terms of value, or something. yeah, something like that. Um, Taste then. So yeah, what would you rate these out of ten compared to these? Probably a six or a seven out of ten. I think I'm actually going to say obviously the Oreos for me they're a ten out of ten. They're amazing. I love Oreos, but. These cookies and cream one, I think, are not as nice, and I would actually probably only give them a five out of ten. Five, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fair comment. There's, de there's definitely a difference between the it's two. It's a biscuit for me. Yeah, I mean, it it's is just... a biscuit for me. Filling, almost identical. I, I wouldn't yeah. say you could taste any difference on, on the filling. I think um, it's just the biscuit that lets it down a bit. Mm. I don't but, I'd have to agree with that. But the price is good for what you can't. Get. You can't fault it, yeah. You can't really, really argue with that. So, um, okay, so we've gone through, yeah, so price, uh, packaging, um, flavour, overall. Health? Well, well yeah, slightly healthier, slightly healthier. Um, Not really. Biscuits and biscuits, but, um, so who's our winner? I'm, for me, the Oreos definitely win. It's got to be the same for me, to that's, be honest. They definitely the win. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, these, if I could, if I went into the shop and I saw these, because like I've tried them before, and if, would I buy them again is what I'm trying to say. Maybe. It, it, if there was Oreos in the shop, I would pay that little bit extra for the Oreos. But if there wasn't, I would probably buy these because they're, they're, not, they're not horrible, but they're just not the best. They are quite nice, but they're not the best. Yeah, no, agreed. I think really, so, so basically, conclusion... Oreo is still, um, still, still the winner. Yeah. Um, but uh, but again, cookies and cream from Aldi, a decent. Good value for money. Good though. value for money. So I think that pretty much wraps it up, don't you? Yeah. So, thanks again, guys, for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.